My name is Sarah, and I'm a filmmaker. Oh, I, I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new here? Yes, I just moved here this past week. Oh, how's that going? Is it weird? Yes, it is a bit weird being in a new place. I'm sure. Uh, my friend just moved away a couple days ago. It's been a little rough. Was he in the last film you made? Uh, yeah. He's a great actor. <laughs> if you say so. You're telling me he's not a good actor? That's not what I said. D not directly. Ah, so you understand subtext. Your dialogue would lead me to believe otherwise. What the hell? I'm sure your friend is a perfectly good actor, but not even a good actor can overcome bad directing. Okay, okay. You can criticize my films all you want, but the fact is that people enjoy them. You see, people really do seem to have a lot of respect for filmmaking at this school, regardless of how good the filmmaking actually is. Excuse me, what gives you the right to show up here, watch one of my films, and then tell me how much I suck? Well, if one film doesn't make me want to watch more, then isn't it a failure? No! <laughs> Look, I don't think you're a bad filmmaker, and I don't want to turn people against you, Lucas, but I'm finally in an environment where I can share my work and have people really appreciate it. If, as a result, people raise their standards and appreciate your work less, I can't do much about that. So, my apologies in advance. Have an amazing evening, Lucas Jones. Oh my god. So, this girl basically told me that she's gonna show me up with her films and everybody's gonna hate me. That's very aggressive. Is she new? Yeah, she is. Maybe you and her could switch places. <laughs> uh, how's your new school? You know, it's actually really nice. Uh, everyone's really friendly here. It sounds like heaven right now. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. Look, uh, I just want to give you a heads up. I'm going to be a little busy for the next little while, um, so I won't be able to talk very much. Is that all right? Y yeah, yeah, uh, of course. Okay, uh, I I've got to finish unpacking. I'll talk to you as, as well, as soon as I can. <laughs> okay, uh, bye, Jason. Bye. to have a film festival. The theme for the film festival is going to be heroes, and the winner gets an article in the paper about the winning filmmaker and their film, and I think it could be great publicity for you. <laughs> right, because everybody reads the newspaper. <laughs> well, it's a digital newspaper. A lot of people see it online, but the best part is there could be a cash prize. Cha-ching! What do you think? I'll think about it. Alright. See ya. Bye. Heroes. I really enjoyed your film. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Have you met Lucas Jones yet? I have. He makes some good films too. I think yours are better though. <laughs> well, if you say so. <laughs> Telling people that my films are bad. She was the one who said it. Yeah, but you immediately confirmed it. Here, if you think you're such a great filmmaker, why don't we both enter this contest and we'll see who wins? All right, best of luck, Lucas. Mr. Nelson, I'm in. All right.
question. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, so nobody knows I'm a superhero, right? Yeah. Um, then why do I change right in the middle of the school? Uh, you have to get going to go save the, uh, the old lady. But why don't I just duck under cover or something? <laughs> well, it wouldn't look as cool then. Um, right. Also, there's a few other characters in the season. The teacher and the two students? Uh, yeah. Who's going to play them? Well, uh, I was thinking that I would play them. All of them? Uh, yes, all of them. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Sophia, I can tell you're not crazy about this whole idea. No, it's not the idea. It's, I mean, I get to be the superhero, and that's so cool. It's just, this film doesn't seem... As put together and yeah, well, we need to uh, get it filmed fast so we have time to accomplish all the cool visual effects because that's what's gonna win this for us. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, look, it's it's been a lot harder on me to handle all the pre-production stuff. I'm just I'm used to having somebody else to handle that for me. And so, like you said, I need to stop second guessing myself. So that's what I'm doing. Not second guessing myself. At all. Alright, uh, we're gonna get started. So uh, I'm gonna have you sit right here. Uh, and then I'm gonna be student one uh, sitting right next to you. And then uh, you're gonna hear a scream. And then we're gonna continue on with the scene. So just when I call action, just count to three and then we will uh, we'll start the scene. I've ever met. Look, just, just, just 
Hear me out, please. Look, look, look. Okay, okay. Uh, I know I screwed up big time, and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Really, I am. If, if you could just give me a second chance, because I, I could really use your help. Who do you want me to play? Uh, an old lady? Oh, hell no. Please? Sophia! I'm playing the old one. Yeah, bye. Okay, we're gonna shoot the green screen stuff outside to get some good natural lighting, okay? What the hell? Are you wearing a dress? It's a skirt, technically. You know those are women's clothes, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Wow, you don't have any self-respect, do you? Scratch that selfie and we're shooting at the school again. Get off my lawn! Uh, and cut. Okay, uh, that's a wrap on all your stuff, so now we just have to get my old lady seen. Do you need me to that? Uh, I mean, it'd be helpful if you could stay while you have somewhere to be. Yeah, uh, um, Sarah asked me to be in her film. Why, why would she do that? I, I don't know. She, she said I'd be good, good at it. Is, is that okay with you? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, I can manage on my own. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, uh, see you later. Bye. Yeah. So even though people laugh at the fact that I spend my time cleaning up other people's trash for seemingly no reason, I continue to do it. I know that I'm doing something good, and that book keeps me going. Wow, Sophia, that was truly spectacular. Was it? Yeah. Alright, let's head outside so we can shoot you picking up the trash. Okay. Sophia, I have a question for you, and you need to answer me completely honestly. Yeah. Does Lucas hate me? Uh, I wouldn't say hate, but he doesn't like me. Yeah, I guess. I somewhat regret my actions. When I first met him, I was very aggressive. <laughs> That's actually how he described it. The sad thing is, I feel like sometimes you need to be aggressive to be taken seriously. I'm sure he would have given you a chance if you gave him a chance. If you just apologize... Yes, but it's far too late to make amends. We'd better get going. It's getting late. And cut. Sophia, you shouldn't look as joyful. Maybe you should look a little more downtrodden. I can do that if you want. I was just thinking that maybe if I was happy, it would seem like I'm more of a hero. And despite the public opinion, I'm still picking up trash and being happy about it. But um, I can I can be sad if you no, want. No, I actually like your idea much better. Okay, reset. Okay. See, I think you've improved a lot. I, I think the special effects are far beyond what you've done in the past. It's really well done. Yeah, well, thank you, Mr. Nelson. Can you handle submitting it? Yeah, no problem. I think the results are going to come out this weekend. I'll just shoot you an email when I find out. Thanks, Mr. Nelson. All right. See you later. Yeah, bye.
entry showcases how a lot can be done with minimal resources and a great script. Mm. This entry was a breath of fresh air after watching countless superheroes save the elderly. since you two are such good friends now. Oh. What were you thinking? Helping her with her film? I'm sorry, I, I was- Did you think? I, I honestly have no idea what you see in her. Oh, I mean, she listens to my ideas. Oh, oh, okay, so this is about me not listening to you about my film being stupid. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> Again, I'm just really glad I was able to help. I really think you truly are the best. Lucas, I'm sorry you didn't win. But, no, you're not. Sadie, can you excuse us for a moment? What do you want, Lucas? Sarah, this was all part of your plan, wasn't it? You just wanted to turn Sophia against me and sabotage my film. What? You know, you were just a manipulative jerk. You want to turn everybody against me, don't you? Lucas, I know I wasn't the kindest to you, but let me make this very clear. Sophia agreed to help me. At no point did I manipulate her or force her to do anything. Is that right, Sophia? Lucas, Sarah didn't manipulate you. Furthermore, Sophia being in my film in no way sabotages your film. What? That is complete crap! From the moment I met you, it was clear that you wanted nothing more than to make everybody hate me. Well, you're not helping yourself, Lucas. All you do is push people away. Here you are yelling at your friends. Wait, wait. She's not my friend?! What? I mean, how could you be? You, you think Jason would have done something like this? No! No, we wouldn't have. Lucas, you said you were okay with it. Yeah, and then you went and- No, you agreed to this. I will not apologize for doing nothing wrong. You know, she did speak very highly of you. You should not have won that contest. What do you want me to say? If you have a problem with the outcome of the festival, you should take it up with the paper's film reviewer. He was the one who made the decision. You know what? I think I will. jeopardize that to buy us some high school film contest? Did you even watch your film before submitting it? More so, did you even read your script? What did we talk about? Character flaws, convincing action sequences, good acting? I thought Sophia did fine. She did, in Sarah's film. Damn it, Derek! You know what your problem is, Lucas? You get so invested in your film that you blind yourself. Not everyone is conspiring against you to make your film bad. You're a good filmmaker. Hey, if I were a good filmmaker, I would have won this contest! 
Just because your film doesn't win a contest doesn't mean there's a problem with the contest or with the people judging it. The, the problem is with you, Lucas. The problem is with your film, not anybody else's. Have you actually seen this girl Sarah's film? It... No, I, I haven't. And you just assume that you're better than she is? She's actually really good. She's a great writer. And what a coincidence. Lucas, you're a terrible. WHY ARE YOU SUCH AN ASSHOLE?! Baby, you should see this competition as an opportunity to improve instead of fighting it. Was my film really that bad? Lucas, it was terrible. As in, worse than that spy film we tried to make. Worse than that? Oh, definitely worse than that. They both had the same problem. You just weren't ready. You jump in trying to make these epic masterpieces before first asking yourself if you can do them justice. It's, it's just hard, Derek. You know, like, you, you finally feel like you're good at something and, and you have a talent and then somebody just comes along and makes it look like nothing. You know, like, I, I try so hard and it doesn't amount to anything. And the thing is, though, there are so many ways in which you're better than her. Her editing is choppy as hell. Mine is sometimes too. That's not the point. Neither one of you is better than the other. You're just better than each other at different things. And that's okay. Now I want to hear you say, I am a good filmmaker. I'm a good filmmaker. <laughs> no wonder you can't direct anybody. You can't act yourself. But that's okay. You don't need to be a good actor right now. Because it's okay to second guess yourself. And it's okay to think that you might not succeed. You just have to keep in the back of your mind that you're not a total failure. Thanks, Derek. Finally gave some good advice. You're welcome. Now I have a real job to attend to, so if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to work. Yeah. See you around, Derek. See you around, Lucas. Oh, and close the door on your way out. Yep, got it.
came here to apologize. You know, I I judged you very quickly without ever watching any of your films, and that was very small-minded of me. So last night I sat down and I watched some of them, and they're they're very very good. So I'm sorry for rushing to judgment so quickly. I accept your apology, and I'm glad you were able to learn something about the craft of filmmaking from my films. Have a great day, Lucas. Oh, okay, Sarah. I said your film was good. I didn't say it was perfect. Your editing is choppy, and your camera work could be a lot more inventive. So, did you actually like them, or were you just trying to make a sad attempt at an no, apology? No, I, I, I did like them. A film doesn't have to be perfect to be good. But you do admit I'm the superior filmmaker. What? No, no! You won one contest! That doesn't make you better than me. That means you made a better film than me. I regret challenging you to the stupid contest in the first place. I, I shouldn't have needed it to know that I'm good at this. Let me just ask you a question, Sarah, and I want you to answer me completely honestly. Why do you feel the need to try and show everyone that you are better than me? Because I find it as the only way to assert my dominance. But, no, 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 but, but why would you jump to that? You see, at my old school, I was bullied a, a lot. Every day, I would come home from school, and this boy, about your age, would come up to me and swear at me and tell me that everything I did was stupid. I wanted to stop making films so bad and to put an end to all this ridicule, but I couldn't stop. I needed filmmaking. When I moved here though, I heard about you from so many people. So many people really respected you and your films. I guess I thought that in order to earn the respect I really wanted, I would have to show I could offer something you couldn't. And, and you can, you're a really, really gifted writer. I just, I guess I didn't see the whole picture. I didn't see that earning everybody's respect, I would be taking that respect away from you. I guess neither of us thought. <sighs> Sarah, I'm really sorry. I've experienced the same kind of criticism, sometimes from grown adults, and it doesn't get easier, but you know what, you're so much more confident about this than I ever was. And... It's just, once I put my guard up, it's hard to lower it. There you are, Sarah! Sarah, you're a filmmaker, and no one can stop you. 